Hey, good Tuesday morning, friends. It's Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Tuesday, May the 14th. Hope all is well with you on this Tuesday morning. I am going to continue to see what I could do about my lost Facebook page and then see how I'm going to integrate in things with maybe the permanent loss of that page, maybe not, <laughs> with what we're doing here and what I'm trying to do with my Compassion and Commitment Academy. So due to that, this will be the last video for this week, but I will be posting here and interacting with you as I like to do and keeping Daniel's friends engaged in what I call positive life experiences. That's all I try to do on these Facebook pages is to add some value to all of our lives, especially the lives of those who are in need. And that is something that I will continue to do. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly how it's going to work. So for today, I'm happy to be with you as always. And I'd ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. John chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I, have, as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's love life for a friend's. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It is not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you this. I command you love one another. So Jesus talks about remaining in his love, remaining strongly connected to him. And then he tells us how to do it. He tells us to follow the commandments and he tells us to love one another. And this will lead to the strongest bond possible. So I'm not sure if you know that way back in after my college life, I was a chemist for a year and a chemical engineer for two years before I moved on to other business ventures. I don't remember a lot about my chemistry training. It's been a few years, but I can tell you that one thing that's very important is to establish strong bonds in anything that you're doing, whether it's chemical research. And in my case, that was for cardiovascular drugs, but it's very important to know the strength of the bond and know how the strength of the bond is going to bring value to you in your research. This applies here, doesn't it? We need to know what we need to do to continue to strengthen the bond with Jesus and one another, and that is the commandments. The commandments are strongly worded, right? I'm not trying to second guess Moses here, but maybe he should have called them the 10 love suggestions. Commandment sounds like a bit harsh, but that's for another time. <laughs> Instead, maybe we should look at them in a positive light and look at them in the light that they bring us to this point where we strengthen our bond, our, our connection with Jesus, and thereby we strengthen it with one another. We do this in our daily choices. We do this in our daily activities. We do this by remaining calm under controversy. We do this by offering a kind word when not kind words are offered to us. We do this by sacrificing any part that we need to of ourselves for those that we love the most and offering them as much as we can of ourselves. We do this too by self-care and many other positive initiatives that you read in self-help books, but in reality, they're right here in the gospel. And believe it or not, they're right here in the animals that surround us. Their lessons continue to inspire us, continue to give us ways to look very purely, very nice at the gospel message, the commandments, strengthening our bond and loving one another. So my friends, that's my message for you on this Tuesday morning. As always, I hope it was helpful for you. I would love you to take it into your day and into your week. I love to receive your feedback and your comments, but mostly 
I appreciate you being here with me. So for today, we're going to leave it right here. We're going to ask you to do your own silent prayer and meditation over what we talked about today. And hopefully we can come away with something really positive to strengthen our connection to Jesus and one another. I wish you all a wonderful Tuesday, and I should see you back here on Sunday. Take care, everyone.